بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أحمده وأصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فأما من أوتي كتابه بيمينه فيقول ها أمقرأ كتابيه Today I want to talk about the book of deeds uh, the book that will be given on the day of judgment and this will be a book that is given regarding every single thing we've ever done. And so the Qur'an paints a picture about that moment when you're given that book. And about the different reactions people will give when they are given that book of deeds. Everything, you know, one of the things about the modern age as we enter this, the end of history, as we, end, uh, end, we come to the end of times, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing us that everything can be recorded, everything can have surveillance, everything can have, everything can be uh, captured, right? And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing us that just like in this world, we see a small glimpse of that uh, possibility of capturing everything, whether it's in a video or whether it is data or it is your browsing history. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his own system right through the angels that are writing our deeds may Allah forgive us and the Quran paints a picture of that moment that moment where you're given the book and so I'm going to use three parts of the Quran that discuss the feeling and the moment and the you can say regret or the happiness of that moment when you're given that book Right, and then I'll say a few more words after that. So the first one I want to discuss is the one in Surah Al-Haqqah, where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "فَأَمَّا مَنْ بَعْدَ أَوْذِ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ." And as for the one who's given the book in his right hand, فَيَقُولُ He will say, "هَاؤُ مُقْرَأُ كِتَابِهِ." Come here, come here, read my book. He'll be happy. It seems like ha umukra'u kitabia. Come read my book. My result is way better than I thought. I thought I was getting one deed, but I got a hundred. I got ten deeds. I got seven hundred more deeds. He's going to be happy, but it didn't come for free. It came at a cost. So Allah subhanahu wa taala says, فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ فَيَقُولُ هَا أُمُقْرَأُ كِتَابِيَا إِنِّي ذَنَنْتُ أَنِّي مُلَاقٍ حِسَابِيَا He says, I knew for sure, definitely, absolutely I knew this day is going to come where I'm going to be given the book of deeds. And every time you see anything being recorded, in modern times, surveillance cameras, you should think of your book of deeds, right? فَهُوَ فِي عِيشَةِ الرَّادِيَ And that person, he will be in a very, living in very happiness, in joyful, in bliss. For him, looking at his book, looking at his hard work, looking at the results of his hard work, and at that moment, the happiness he'll feel, and he'll be calling people, Come read my book. And his Jannah will be high up. Will be high up. See, the Jannah will be high up, and the rivers flow down. Right? So he'll be high up. And the uh, fruits will be on his reach. They'll be near him. The trees in Jannah, some narrations say the roots will be on top and the trees will be coming down. So you'll be able to easily take and eat. Right? And so that hard work. So he's given the, the record on the Day of Judgment and now he's in Jannah, in a high place. And he's eating from the fruits. So Allah is telling us that when the book is given to you in the right hand, now you know. You'll be okay, inshallah. Qutufuha daniya Kulu wa shrabu hani'am Bima aslaftum fil ayyam al And Allah will say, eat and drink. Just like Allah told our father Adam, eat from Jannah as much as you like. Kulu wa shrabu. Eat. 
and have fun and enjoy and hang out with your friends and just enjoy the scenery and enjoy the beauty be with good people and just hang out and I say hang out because there are these uh, studies done that what is the thing that human beings like to do the most is the description given in Jannah about hanging out with people you love right and so now you can eat from the times before when you kept yourself from not eating like fasting or because of uh, persecution and suffering before you weren't able to enjoy dunya but now you can enjoy Jannah now the other side as for the one who was given the book on his left side. He'll say, oh, don't give me my book. No, 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 I don't want this book. Why did you give me the book on my left hand? And I don't know what my account is. And, and one translation could be I never knew I had an account and one could be or I you know because he forgot he wasn't Lam Adri I didn't think there would be any account of me now you're gonna ask me everything that I did he will wish at that time oh what a destruction for me I wish it just comes to an end the Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that feet of Ibn Adam, the son of Adam will not move from its place until he's asked about five things. Basically of every where he spent his youth, where he spent his time, where he spent his money, right? Where he earned his money. All these questions will be asked from him. You have to give an account for every cent. Ya laytaha kanatil qadiya wa ma agna'anni maliya my wealth is of no use to me today. All that energy and time I spent in dunya, enjoying dunya and making wealth, where where is that going to help me in my morality? Halaka <laughs> and my my power, my authority vanished. I have no authority. I'm an orphan. Everyone's an orphan on the day of judgment. Even your parents will be running away from you, except those that are pious. And it will be said to the angels, Catch him and shackle him and put the chains through his mouth coming through his back. Right? Because he used to eat haram, so now, and he used to then let it go. So now put this chain in him and, and burn him and to grill him, so to say, and to burn him on this, like, you know the way you do it to a stake? Now burn him in the hellfire. And scorch him, burn him in the hellfire. And then in a chain, Allah says, whose length is like 70 cubits, 70 links, right? Tie him up in that chain. billahi al-azim, because he did not believe in Allah, the Most Great. miskin, and he didn't encourage other people to feed the poor. So we find there's a link between believing in Allah, really believing in Allah, and helping the poor, helping the misfortune. فَلَيْسَ لَهُ الْيَوْمَ هَا هُنَا حَمِيمٌ So he has no friends here today. For a person like that who didn't help the poor, a person like that who didn't believe in Allah, he has no friends here today. وَلَا تَعَامٌ إِلَّا مِنْ غِسْلِينَ And he has no food except scum. لَا يَأْكُلُهُ إِلَّا الْخَاطِعُونَ and none eat this except for the ones who made big mistakes. Next portion of the Quran is the one in Sutul Kahf. There's another aspect of the word image given here. Now remember in the first one, you're given the book in your right hand, 
in your left hand. Now in Surah Al-Kahf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wudi al-kitab, and when the book is placed, فَتَرَ mujrimin, And then the criminals will see, uh oh, our, the book of our deeds is here. فَتَرَ mujrimin مِينَ مُشْفِقِينَ مِمَّا فِي And they will be, and the, and the criminals, they'll be in fear of what's in this book. What does it say about me? وَيَقُولُونَ يَا وَيْلَنَا مَا لِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ And they say, what a destruction on us. What is this book? لا يغادر صغيرة ولا كبيرة إلا أحصاها ولا كبيرة إلا أحصاها There's nothing small or big except it contains it. How would it what type of book is this? Has every type of record, big and small thing that we did, everything is recorded, subhanAllah. لا يغادر صغيرة ولا كبيرة إلا أحصاها وَوَجِدُوا مَا عَمِلُوا حَاضِرًا Now this is interesting. And whatever we did, we'll find right before it, like a video. حَاضِرًا حَاضِرًا You know, to be present. وَجِدُوا مَا عَمِلُوا حَاضِرًا It's like as if the book is going to show you exactly what you did. Live. وَوَجِدُوا مَا عَمِلُوا حَاضِرًا وَلَا يَظْلِمُ رَبُّكَ أَحَدًا Allah doesn't wrong anyone. If Allah will punish you, it's from His justice. And if Allah doesn't punish you, it's out of His mercy. And it is not Allah's fault that so many claimants stood up against you. You stood silent while we were being killed. You stood silent while we were being forced into prostitution. You stood silent while millions were being killed. You didn't give the helpless and the poor even a smile, not even a prayer, not even a dollar. You didn't encourage the feeding of the poor. What type of person are you? You may think you're a decent person, but those people who you didn't give even a dollar to, they don't think you're a decent person. And then there's another part of the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal nas, O mankind, innaka kadhun ila rabbika kadhan fa mulaqih. You are just laboring towards your Rabb. You're going, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rabb. We're going back to Allah. And your end result is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِ As for the one who's given the book in his right hand, فَسَوْفَ يُحَاسَبُ حِسَابًا يَصِيرًا When he stands before Allah, when he has the book on his right hand, and then he comes to the next phase where he has to stand before Allah and take an accounting for everything, right? Then Allah will make his account easy because he was given the book in his right hand. وَيَنْقَلِبُ إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِ مَسْرُورًا And at that, day, at that day, he will go back to his family so happy. See, Dad, look at my result. Alhamdulillah, I passed. You used to worry, I'm not going to pray. And you used to worry that I, I may do wrong things in life. Look, I passed. وَيَنْقَلِبُ إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِ مَسْرُورًا فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ وَرَاءَ ظَهْرِ And as for the one who is given the book behind his back, so there's the one who's given the book on his right hand and the one who's given the book on his left hand, which we read earlier, and the one who's given the book behind his left hand, I mean behind his back. He's going to say, no, no. He's going to insist on not wanting the book and the angels will tear through his stomach and give it to him behind his back. فَمَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ وَرَاءَ ذَحْرِ فَسَوْفَ يَدْعُو ثُبُورًا He will call on his death. وَيَسْلَ سَعِيرًا But he won't be given death. He'll be burnt in the hellfire. In كَانَ فِي أَهْلِهِ مَصُورًا When he was in the world, he was with his people, he used to be a show-off. He used to be so happy. And he used to think he's such a decent person. He used to be rich and enjoy the world while people around him were suffering and he didn't even care. Never asked his neighbor if he needed anything. Right? In كَانَ فِي أَهْلِهِ مَصُورًا أَنَّهُ And he thought, he never thought that he'd come back to us. بَلَا إِنَّ رَبَّهُ كَانَ بِهِ بَصِيرًا But no, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had full insight into him. And Allah has this system that every moral decision you're making and every decision you're making is being recorded. And when you're so much in, in ghafla, so lost in this dunya, that you don't even care about those people that are suffering because you're enjoying too much. Those people that are suffering because you're enjoying too much. And you're, you're enjoying, and you are enjoying because of your, your complete silence towards the status quo. And because you were silent, so now that day they will speak. 
that day when Allah will ask the babies that were aborted for what reason were you killed? Allah will ask them and the babies will ask their parents, their mothers, why did you abort us? For what is our sin? The mother who thinks she's decent will be asked by her baby, why did you abort me? Why did you take my life? That system that was in place of murder called abortion, you don't think, every person thinks they're decent, but no one thinks about who are the people in my life that I can count on my fingers or just count in my life who have a claim against me, that I did them wrong and that what can I do to compensate? So that those deeds, the book, when the book of good deeds or the book of your bad deeds or the book of your deeds is given to you in your right hand or your, or your left hand or behind your back, behind your back, some of the scholars said, uh, like Ibn Hazm, Rahimullah, he said, the person who's going to be given the book of deeds behind his back is the munafiq, is the, is the hypocrite, who used to claim he lo loves Islam, but he was actually a hypocrite. He actually worked with those people who were against Islam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala paints this picture of the book of deeds in the Quran. I thought, inshallah ta'ala, you will, uh, inshallah, enjoy that. Jazakumullah khairan. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.